What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a little bit of a different video. So it is of course Thanksgiving week, and as such everybody's a little busy, and I myself have a few videos that will be a little bit different content-wise as a result. For starters, on Thanksgiving Day, I'm planning on doing a sort of FAQ answers style video for questions I've aggregated across the channel. So whereas previously I've done a few question and answers that were specifically for videos and I put out like community posts and things looking for specific questions, the Thanksgiving video I'm planning on doing is a broad assortment of questions that I see all the time across the channel. So no specific person asking it. That said, if you want to ask something in particular, while I won't necessarily put your username or anything into the video. If you want to ask anything in particular, feel free to drop it below. But that said, in doing the research for all of that, or just, you know, looking at comments and things, one of the questions I get pretty commonly that's just a little more lengthy to answer, I decided to go ahead and make this video about. The question, of course, being, do I get burned out 100% in games for my reviews, or does the act of doing them as reviews kill my enjoyment, etc.? And the answer to that question is a little more complicated than yes or no. The reason being that I do this full time, which means while I do, of course, love video games, and hopefully that shines through in my content, nonetheless, that is at that point a job, which is an important thing to note because let's say I play a game and I'm like, wow, this is terrible. I didn't enjoy this at all. And getting 100% on it is like walking on glass the entire time. I might not necessarily enjoy that, but in going through it and then, of course, posting the review of it, and then, of course, make money on the ad revenue, that type of thing. Plus, there's usually engagement in the comment section where I get to talk to people about it and share my opinions, and I usually enjoy reading other people's opinions about this type of stuff. So you can kind of see with just that example how just because I didn't enjoy 100%ing something doesn't mean it, you know, even came close to, like, getting me burnt out or anything. And then to give another example, even even with games that I enjoy tremendously, I do have a limit for. So I very recently brushed up against that limit with uh, Wrath of the Righteous, actually. As I noted in my review of that game, the total time spent was like 650 hours. About 500 of those hours were in the two months after the launch which, to be clear, is about 60 hours a week of game time every week. And that doesn't even include all of the other games I reviewed and the other games that I played, plus the work actually editing the videos and things. So for two months, I basically did probably about 80 hours a week on average playing and then getting videos ready for you. So in that scenario, yeah, I was, I was pretty over it after about two months. And as I noted in a community post recently, I just needed to take a break from that game for a couple weeks. Now, that doesn't mean I enjoy Wrath of the Righteous any less. I actually still love the game. But as the saying goes, everything in moderation. So when it comes to answering the question of do I get burned out when I review and 100% these games, it, it varies. It's a bit of a tightrope to walk, you know? Because where Wrath of the Righteous, while I did enjoy it and I made a ton of content for it, I had just spent so much time on it, I was just beyond ready to do anything else. And then a third piece to this conversation is that I pick and choose the games I review. So it's unlikely that I'm going to review a game that I just hate, unless it, you know, happens to be from a suggestion or I just, you know, flat out got it wrong. But most of the games I review, I just pick and choose. As people will have noticed, I don't really aim for release dates, typically speaking. Not to say that I won't, if a game I am interested in offers me a key, then I will review it before it launches. But in the history of this channel, that's only happened a couple of times. 90% of my reviews happen after the fact, which means I'm very capable of picking and choosing what games I review, and as such, I already have at least a little bit of interest in it beforehand. And because of that, it's just unlikely I'm going to pick something that I just hate across the board. So while there might be individual pieces of that 100% review that were frustrating, the experience as a whole probably isn't going to be too bad for me. So to wrap this up before it gets too rambly, the closest thing to an answer I could really give to this question is that while any individual game or just my method or anything burning me out or making me enjoy games less, not really. More often, it's individual pieces of the 100% that I don't enjoy, which honestly just helps with the review, because then I'm like, hey, here's the things that I didn't like. But uh, to give an example from the most recent game that I reviewed, which was Deathloop, even though this is a CRPG channel primarily, when it came to Deathloop, I mostly enjoyed that game, in that, you know, it was a lot of fun to play. However, there are aspects of it that I don't like. Like I mentioned, I didn't like that invasion mechanic at all. But on the flip side of it, I also mentioned that playing Juliana in 
The invasion part was usually more fun, because Juliana is invading with the express intent of invading, whereas Colt is usually in the middle of story stuff when he gets invaded which is a very different experience. So in that regard, yes, there are pieces of 100% reviews that I absolutely do not enjoy. That said, most of the time, nothing really gets me close to burnt out unless I'm spending just a ridiculous amount of time on it, like what happened with the Wrath of the Righteous, which uh, frankly just wore me out. I was tired, like physically and mentally, of playing that game. I'm a little better now, taking a few weeks off from it, but I was just I was just very worn out of Pathfinder content. But there you go, guys. Uh, sorry if that was a little rambly, but that is the closest thing to a full answer I can really give to that question, and it is something that I see come up quite a bit. But I do want to stress here at the end of this video, I love video games. This is something I sought to do for just shy of six years before I was finally able to step into it full time. It is, in my opinion, a blessing that I get to do this and that people enjoy watching it. And for every part of a game that I don't enjoy, there's just absolutely tons of comments about people enjoying my content and how it helped them uh, make a decision about a game or just that they enjoyed the conversation about it, stuff like that. And believe it or not, that really helps get through the parts of games that I really don't want to do because I know that even if I don't enjoy something, that's still going to be of value to someone, and I can pass that information on to them, and hopefully, again, they get some value out of that. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to ask any questions down below, like I mentioned. But regardless of any of that, truly, may you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.